Today, I want to share with you a secret to having your prayers answered quickly. These Psalms I will be sharing with you today pushes your prayers to God quickly. And trust me, they will always come back with answers. That is why you need to start doing it immediately. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome and welcome back to my amazing space on the internet. It's your girl, Evelyn Ambrose, recording from Abuja in Nigeria. If you're new to this channel, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. It means a lot to me and I really appreciate it. If you're new, then you may consider subscribing because here I try my best to encourage you in your walk with Christ. Please consider liking the video now or at the end of this video if you found value in it. Thank you so much. It will really mean a lot to me. I thank God for allowing you to find my channel because I know that this channel will bring value to you. And I pray that you find the answers that you truly desire in Jesus name. Amen. Throughout the book of Psalms, the people of God took every opportunity they had to praise him. They knew that praising God was of utmost importance, both in time of plenty or in lack. Psalm 150 verse 6 says this, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. God is worthy of our praise. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you some Psalms that you can read if you feel like you have been asking God for something and it's taking too long to come. Yes, there may be reasons why it's taking too long, but trust me, if you've seen this video, then you would understand why I'm sharing these Psalms with you. These Psalms are Psalms of praise and thanksgiving to God. Whenever you feel stuck in a position, don't even bother asking God for anything. Just start praising him. In short, now that we are saying it, I'm actually in the mood to praise God and I hope that my voice is good. So if you know this song, kindly sing along with me. Bless the Lord of my soul, oh my soul, and worship his hope. Lene. Sing like never before. Oh, my soul, I'll worship your holy name. That's the only thing God requires of us to always praise and worship Him. There are times when we feel like giving up in life when so many things are going terribly wrong in our life and there is no one to turn to there is nothing you have not done there is no prayer you have not said for an answer search no further these psalms of praise that i will be sharing with you today are psalms that you just have to constantly read it might not be all the Psalms of praise in the Bible, but these are the ones I say. But please, you can go ahead and search for that. There are more Psalms of praise that you can read if you have exhausted this one, okay? I know what praising God has done in my life. And because he has been too good, I said, no, I will share this with you one more time. I have done several videos explaining why you need to thank God. I will keep doing these videos until somebody understands the power of praising God. So without wasting your time, I'm going to call out some Psalms that you can read when you want to praise God. The first psalm on my list is Psalm 34. That psalm is my go-to psalm whenever I am in, whenever I need something urgent from God because he knows my heart and he knows that really I need it. It's not a want, it's because I need it. That is why he will grant it. And that's also something I would like to point out, maybe in another video, but this is it. Sometimes when we do not get that thing we are asking God, it is because he knows that we do not need it. As children of God, it's not just about acquiring so many things, especially financially. You don't need to acquire everything. You just need to have access to what you need immediately. I hope that makes sense. I just felt like putting it out there. The next psalm that we'll be looking at is Psalm 1 
one one don't mind me i'm not calling this sum in any particular order any way you want to start just go ahead and start okay the next sum is sum 117 then we'll also look at sum 100 oh my goodness i love sum 100 so much i don't think i can express myself here but this sum is so powerful it's a very short sum but it says a lot let me read it for you shout for joy to the lord all the earth worship the lord with gladness come before him with joyful songs know that the lord is god it is he who made us and we are his we are his people the sheep of his pasture enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise give thanks to him and praise his name for the lord is good and his love endures forever his faithfulness comes through all generations amazing right to me this psalm is an instruction that everyone on earth needs to follow worship the lord with gladness come before him with joyful songs my brothers my sisters it doesn't matter what you're going through forget about your pains and come to god with a glad heart worship him with a glad heart and you'll be surprised with what god will do for you i don't know if you have seen this video but please you need to go and see that video and understand my little illustrations of why you must come to god with praise first Okay, so the next psalm is Psalm 136. Then we'll go ahead and look at Psalm 145. This psalm proclaims God's kindness, God's faithfulness, God's righteousness, God's majesty, God's glory, and God's love. Take a look at verse 1 to 2. I will exalt you, Lord, my God, the King. I will praise your name forever and ever. Every day, I will praise you and extol your name forever and ever. Now, you know why I sang that song earlier, right? Okay, let's look at verse 13. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and your dominion endures through all generations. The Lord is faithful to all his promises and loving towards all he has made. God is just too much. He's amazing. Okay, let's also look at Psalm 146. This psalm reminds us that God whom we trust is the maker of heaven and earth, the sea and everything that is in them. This psalm inspires us to praise and honor God, a God who is more than worthy of our praise. Let's also look at Psalm 8. Verse 3 to 4 says, When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him, the son of man that you care for him? This is a reminder of the wonderful truth that we are sinful and fallen, yet each of us is created in the image and likeness of God. And as his creation, bearing his image, he deeply cares about us. When you think about how much love God has for us, it is just so humbling and it draws us more to worship and praise him then the last psalm i have on my list is psalm 150 it is short also and i would love to read it to you praise the lord praise god in his sanctuary praise him in his mighty heavens praise him for his acts of power praise him for his surpassing greatness Praise him with the sounding of the trumpets. Praise him with the harp and lyre. Praise him with tambourine and dancing. Praise him with the strings and flutes. Praise him with the clash of cymbals. Praise him with resounding cymbals. 
let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Wow. As I was reading that psalm, I felt good. I don't know if you felt the same way as me, but that is how the psalm always uplifts my spirit. Whenever I say these psalms of praise and thanksgiving to God, it is really uplifting. I find out that when I'm sad and I say these psalms of praise to God, it just has a way of bringing back life to me and I tend to forget any other concerns in my life. And that is why I'm sharing these psalms with you so that you can enjoy all the goodness of God. Before we go, I want to quickly say this prayer with us. Jesus, the son of David, as we praise you, please open doors of favor, doors of goodness, life and good health. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. And all the people say, Amen. Please, just before you go, remember that as we seek to praise God with our psalms of praise and with all our lives, let us call to mind the words of these psalms. Commit to reading one or more of these psalms daily and hide them in your hearts. Thank you so much, beautiful people, for being here with me. I have come to the end of this video and I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you gained value from this video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a like. And if you've not subscribed, I would like to encourage you to subscribe now because we do videos like this always on this channel. Thank you so much once again, beautiful people, for being here with me. And until next time, this is Evelyn Ambrose saying bye.